think it was seemed... a tough decision for him. Yeah, you know, he told me it was it was 50-50, you know, going both ways. And um, I think we can all agree uh, what he's been through is um, not easy. Um, and every day it's, it's a different battle. So, um, you know, I think he just thinks the best thing for him and his family uh, was to uh, go through retirement. I think a week ago, Cam, you seemed pretty optimistic that he was going to come back. Yeah. When you say it was 50-50, did his mind change somewhere in those seven or eight days? Or? You know, that's a question for him. Um, but, you know, I can only talk about what me and him talked about. And I'll give some of it private, but um, we, we, we were all under concern that uh, we were, he was going to be coming back. But I can't be mad at a guy for not wanting to come back. That's uh you know, it's just unfortunate. I'll look like a liar. I don't give a damn. But, uh, man, I would have loved to have him back. Kim, what do you appreciate about your time with him? Um, man, I've known to it before he was even drafted. And um, to see where he came from and to see, you know, he was with my other brother um, playing basketball. Uh, and he was the kid just on his little game boy, just in the back, very quiet. Uh, we always joke and I always, we always say, uh, you know, he was going on basketball trips for football. So, you know, he uh, he, he really came out of his shell um, to see the type of man, uh, the type of teammate he was. Um, you know, I was able to rely on him so much. Um, we were able to do a lot of special things. Obviously, we were in a Super Bowl together, but, um, you know, we created a lot of habit. Um, we had fun doing it. Um, and, you know, we got to watch our kids, you know, become friends and our wives are pretty close. So, you know, those are things I appreciate. And, you know, those are things that aren't just going to stop now. Ken, did you try to do any kind of talking him back into it? Or is this a situation, not unlike Tyson's a couple of years ago, where, you know, that's all on him to kind of decide what he wants to do in his own life? I don't think I, I went into it thinking I had to convince him. Um, I mean, the thing was, you get in the locker room, you, you feel the brotherhood and you feel um, everybody's here for you. Um, and it wasn't just myself, it, you know, Tyson, uh, Coach Dunbar, Mike T, Kevin, um, we all went out of our way to make sure to knew that. Um, but with that, you know, so, some people go through different things, some people handle it differently, um, and all we can be there is to just support him. Did he ask your opinion at all in those conversations, the, your thoughts? Um, I gave my opinion <laughs> plenty of times, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I think some of it is just understanding, uh, not necessarily football stuff, but just, you know, we've all lost loved ones, um, and um, just understanding that we all want to be there for each other. Yeah, Stefan had that smile, that sense of humor. Do you, do you get a sense that that's coming back? That yeah, there's still that. Um, you know, I even joke with him. I was like, just because you're not really working out doesn't mean you can skip leg days. I want to see you with any pigeon legs. Um, and he got a kick out of that. But, um, you know, he, he's still Stefan. Um, you know, he's still happy-go-lucky, loves to have a good time. Um, you know, wears his heart on his sleeve. Um, I just like to say I'm proud of him for graduating. Um, that was something that was really big and monumental in his life. Um, you know, something he can look back on. He had to go to class every single day, like Jerome. Um, and I know they both hated it, but uh, you know, it's uh, you know something he was very proud of. Um, he's got three kids now: two boys, one girl, um, and. Yeah, it's going to be crazy because I feel like in like 15 years we're going to be talking about them. So, you know, it's uh, it's all, uh, you know, a cycle and I'm just excited for him to see what else is in store for him. Yeah, something changed his mind because you and Cam seemed pretty confident about a week ago, 10 days ago right. that he was coming back. Did you know, think he taught you guys? Did something change his mind? Yeah, man, I, I can't speak, you know, for him where I, I think at the time, at the right time he'll kind of explain his situation. but. Um, you know, it did look like he was planning on coming in and then, um, you know, whatever it is kind of came up and, you know, he came to a decision that's best for him and his family. So, um, you know, we got to respect that. And um, like I said, if, if he's good, we're good. We heard the news about Stefan. Were you surprised, stunned, uh, 
Uh, did you know it was coming, that he was not coming back? No, I, I didn't know. Um, I was a little stunned just because I knew the season that he had two two seasons ago. Um, you know, a lot of career highs, especially when it comes to sacks. And, um, but, you know, I wish him well. I hope I hope his next chapter in life is, is everything that, that he's hoping for. Um, you know, more time with the family. He just graduated from Notre Dame, so I'm excited for that. Um, that's a great accomplishment. Um, but but nothing nothing but, you know, well wishes for him and, and his family moving forward. You fill his void. Is it one person? Is it a group of people that come in and, and fill that hole that to it leaves? Yeah, I think I think I'm I'm you know poised to, to fill that role. Um, I'm excited for Tyson to come back healthy. Um, I'm excited for some of the young guys to, to kind of step in and, and, and play some uh, meaningful snaps this season. Um, but as a unit, I think we're excited, and I think it starts with Cam. Um, and I'm just, just excited for the, for the opportunity again for, for this season. You know, of course, it was kind of a surprise to me. I wasn't really sure. I mean, we, were, we all kind of knew it could go one way or the other. But um, you know, I'm just happy that. Uh, you know, he made a good choice, um, you know, for himself and his family. Uh, I mean, I'm definitely going to miss him. I know the guys are going to miss him, uh, uh, miss having him around. And definitely, you know, as a player, being as dominant as, as he is, we're going to miss him on the field too. But, um, you know, everyone here um, and me wish nothing but the best for him. You got your feet wet last year. You feel like you're ready for, for a bigger role mm -hmm. this season? Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, I, I, I've been preparing, um, you know, the same all throughout the off season, uh, and it's still the same for me. You know, um, I, I'm still gonna go about my business the same. Uh, you know, whether there is that uh, you know open spot there or not, um, you know, nothing's really changed for me. I'm still uh, still doing the best I can every day. So, uh, you know, I, I'm uh, I'm still working with the guys here. Um, you know, for whatever role I'm, I'm thrown into, I'm, I'm gonna be ready for it.